Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another makeup tutorial. I am so excited to be here today. Um, the look that I have in mind, I'm really excited about. It's kind of fall, but it's got a little twist as far as like what's in my brain. Um, we are using the Morphe 3503 palettes. Again, you guys really wanted to see more looks and I was actually quite pleasantly surprised by how many of you guys had this palette didn't even tell me that you had this palette or to go out and buy this palette you know what i'm kind of hurt i'm kind of hurt i thought we were like here you know i tell you what to get you tell me what to get we keep each other in check but y'all didn't this time like like i said in that video i didn't even know that this palette was the 3503 i remember seeing it and being like oh that's really pretty like i want it and then just being like eh, i don't need another palette type of thing but y'all let me know so anyways if you aren't already subscribed please go ahead and hit that subscribe button it is free and we do a lot of makeup over here um we also like i also try to incorporate other things into the channel like my car or my house or you know lifestyle type of things as well but anyways i'm gonna quit rambling let's go ahead and roll the intro Okay, so I went ahead and primed my lid. I just used my ColourPop No Filter Concealer in D42 and my NYX Translucent Setting Powder just to set it down. I think I'm gonna move you guys in a little closer because I feel like the camera's quite a bit, quite a bit away from my eye. So I think I'm gonna move it closer. Yeah, I think, I think that's I think that's close enough. So that way you guys get the whole vibe. I'm in my bonnet today. My hair is so greasy, you guys. It's not even funny, so that's that's where I'm at with my hair right now. So I'm gonna take Major Hottie right here. This is like a warm, like reddish brown kind of color. I really, really, really like this color, and I'm gonna take this on a Morphe blending brush. It's out of the Eye Credible brush set, so I'm not really like 100% sure like what the actual number is, but it's probably like a M4 or another M44 or something. 440 or something i don't really know so this color is going in my crease this is going to be my transition shade so with this shade you just want to like i don't pack it on but i just take some on my brush and i take it directly to my crease and then i start to blend it upwards so it's going to be the most like opaque or the most like vibrant in color right in the socket of the crease and then as you blend upwards in circular motion circular buffing motions it'll start to diffuse the shadow more and with this color i go ham i don't know why i just really like for my trans transition shade to be really 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 like vibrant and like peek through the other color but most of this will get covered up so i just make sure it's exactly how i want it so next i'm gonna mix two colors i'm gonna take some of stamina which is right down here. It's like a warm brown, but I feel like I need a little bit more. So I'm gonna take a little bit of Jolt. So Stamina and Jolt right here, which is like a dark brown. The reason I'm mixing Stamina with Jolt is because um, Stamina is a little little lighter and Jolt is a little darker, but Jolt is more cool tone and um, Stamina is a little more warm tone, but I want, majority, I want this to be deep and dark. So I'm gonna first go in with some of Jolt and then I'm gonna go in with Stamina on the same brush and use that to blend it out. So it's not like a big glob of black. And I, or not black, it's like a dark, 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 dark brown. Um, I do recommend that with a dark brown, if you're not completely comfortable with it, to start with a little bit and then work your way up and also apply it right here on the outer V the outer V right here. And it looks like that. Now I'm gonna blend it out with some of Stamina. So 
Now I'm taking a little bit more of a jolt, just a tiny, tiny bit, right out in my outer V. So I always go back in with the previous brush in the previous color. Oh crap, I got some of that. And I'm just gonna go over the top just to make sure it's all blended up there. And then that's pretty much it for like our crease shades and our crease colors and everything. I'm now going to cut the crease and I'm gonna take um, some of the ABH eye primer. Yeah, yeah, I'll do this. I'll use the ABH eye primer for this. And the brush I'm going to use is the Dose of Colors Concealer Brush. So I'm gonna use both of these to cut the crease. Okay, you guys, so now I'm going to take uh, that color. Let's see what it is. Um, it is Stun Wild right here. It's like a goldy kind of color. I asked Jack what I should do, and he said use this glitter right here. So I'm going to use that underneath. If you hear some grunting, it's Oslo. He started barking, so I made him come in the room with me, and he's not too happy about it. So you might hear some cackling and some grunting and all of that. Wow, this color is super pigmented. Like, it would be stunning by itself. It's really, really, really pretty. This is a good boy, yeah. And the brush that I'm using is the Jaclyn Hill JH41. And I'm leaving like this first half open. I'm going to put another shadow there. So the colors in this palette are super, super, super pigmented. I like, I'm like loving it. So of course with any look, I'm going to use whatever I used on the outer corner and just pat it against the eyeshadow that's next to it just to kind of blend the two together. Um, so there's like no harsh lines, so I just literally pat it over the top. And then I'm going to take a little bit, just the tiniest pressure, and just kind of feather it over. Because I don't want it to be all the way over there. So the last color that I'm going to use is Power Play. It's the lime green in this palette. Um, Honestly, those like this lime green was one of the reasons why I wanted this palette because it was such a like a pop like and it was so unexpected. But I mean, you can't forget about the greens in nature. Like most people forget about greens when it comes to like fall. Although I wish this was a little more like olivey in tones, it's still like really 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 pretty. So there's that. So now I'm going to take the NYX Glitter Primer and I'm going to just pat that over the lid. I'm not going to use too much because it's supposed to be like a self-adhesive glitter. Um, so I'm not going to pack on too much. And then I'm going to go into the middle shade, which is called Make Believe. See if I use my so your finger definitely works better with like these glitter shadows. But I can't like get all the way up. So the last and final step with this look, I'm actually going to do some eyeliner. I'm going to use the NYC Black Liquid Eyeliner and do a wing liner. I usually don't do wing liner. It's not like my favorite thing to do anymore, but I feel like with this look, I think it'll look really good. So. And 
Nice! Okay guys, so since you guys loved the full face makeup tutorial last week, from last week, I decided that today I would do the same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye off camera. Well, not off camera, I'm going to do it for IGTV. And then I will be back for the rest of the face and the lips, so. Alright you guys, so I am back. <laughs> my IGTV video was like all over the place. If you haven't seen my Instagram stories, go check that out. Um, but I'm going to, oh my gosh you guys, do you see this? Oh, I busted my lip yesterday. I've never ever ever done something like this. And it came to a shock, honestly. Um, so I was cleaning because as you know, we've had mice issues and the peppermint hasn't worked. Um, I caught two in one day in my bedroom. And I'm like, okay, this is it. Like, I just cannot do this. Like, I'm paranoid when I'm sleeping. Any little rustling, I wake up. Last night, I woke Jack up at 3 o'clock in the morning because I heard rustling. And it was right after I, like, deep cleaned my bedroom. So... I had a crap ton of laundry in my room uh, because we're both really lazy when it comes to laundry. So I wash clothes all day long, but I'm not folding them up. So um, I'm going to use the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Foundation. This is in the shade Medium Deep 27. It's a little warm on me, but once it oxidizes, it looks really good. And I know I said that I didn't really like the foundation in the first video, but as I've used it multiple times, um, I've begun to like it. I still don't like that it's not completely full coverage, but I don't suffer from a lot of um, dark spots anymore. So, um, would I recommend it to other people? Not really, but <laughs> um, I personally like the wear on myself. Um, but, so, like I said, I woke Jack up uh, at 3 o'clock in the morning. And um, so, anyways, we don't fold clothes. That was what I was talking about. Um, so, yesterday, my grandma came over. And my grandma is like, I don't want to say she's like judgmental, but she's always done this exact thing of even when I lived with her. So she'll come into my room or in this instance, my house, and she'll just start looking around at something to nitpick. But now she realizes that it's my house and that she can't come into my house and tell me to clean up, even though she does. She has, I should say. Oh, she has. Um, so when my grandma comes over i immediately like it's like it's like um ptsd <laughs> i immediately start cleaning up so um as we like chit chat she comes over on mondays um when she gets off work early and we'll just chit chat and talk and stuff so i'm cleaning up and cleaning up and for some reason it just stuck with me and i just felt like i needed to clean my entire house so there are some points like it used to be around the time that I started my period that I would get like a burst of like I need to clean type of energy um and that's always how my mom knew I was about to start my period so anyways so I started cleaning up my um house and then the living room I cleaned it well the kitchen I started with the kitchen clean that up wipe the counters down with oh my gosh this Mrs. Myers um cleanser and it's the mom scent so good I love the smell of it so I started cleaning up clean that clean the living room um rearranged the living room let me tell you I rearranged the whole living room then I um uh what did I do clean the dining room then I moved into my bedroom so well the spare bedroom I had to wash the sheets in there because Adrian had an accident in there so the sheets needed to be washed and it's been like two weekends since he's been here and I'm like okay you need to clean that that room like the the an excuse so I went in there and went to take the sheets off and saw that there were rat droplings on the actual mattress because I had left a bag of Doritos before I realized that we had a mouse issue I left a bag of Doritos open because Adrian didn't want them and lo and behold the mouse ate the entire bag because I think Adrian ate like one chip they ate the whole bag and then left droplings on the bed so I had to clean those sheets clean my sheets because it was time for our sheets to get washed and then I just started cleaning the whole bedroom I folded all the clothes 
Like when I tell you, if I should have filmed it, but I don't want people judging me <laughs> or my husband because we are so lazy, especially when um, I'm like, I don't want to say like going through my episodes, but like when I was going through what I was going through, like I wasn't doing anything, cooking, cleaning, filming. I wasn't doing anything. So yeah, um, I'm going to use pause right now. I'm going to use the new benefit uh, creaseless, cakeless concealer, the boying conceal concealer. I actually really like their boying concealer in a, in the, a little jar, but I stopped using it because they didn't make colors dark enough for me. So I have number 10 and number 9. Um, I think I'm going to start with number 10 just because I think this will be light enough. And number 9 I think will be... Um, I don't know. I like that the tip is flex though. Um, it's like a regular doe foot applicator, but I like that the tip is a flex tip. Um, I don't know about the consistency yet. I've seen a lot of people say that they really like it and I've been excited to try it so I'm really glad that they sent it to me um, but I really love the packaging the packaging is super 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 cute super cute I'm gonna add a little bit of number nine just like in some highlighted areas just to add a little bit of lightness um, but anyways like I was saying I don't want people judging us so that's why I didn't film something like that but I mean, the next time, definitely will if that's something you'd like to see. <laughs> um, so I started cleaning, I folded all the laundry, um, washed the sheets, I swapped out my seasonal clothes. So uh, I don't know about y'all, but I put my winter clothes in a tote and I leave them downstairs or in our case, it was in our garage at our apartment. And um, I just swapped out my summer for my winter so that took a long time because I had a crap ton of stuff I have a huge bucket um full of winter clothes I also swapped out my summer shoes um Jack put together our shoe stand that's also been sitting in the room for like four or five months um he oh I actually kind of like this concealer it is full coverage baby um so I swapped out shoes, I gave away some shoes, like I have a big old bucket that needs to go to Goodwill. I was supposed to do that today, but I took a nap instead. Um, so it was crazy. Then I swept, I mopped, well, Swiffered because we have hardwood floors, but y'all, you'd be so proud of me if you saw the way that my room looked before. and what it looks like now but I just couldn't be bothered with cleaning it but when the mouse started mice started coming I'm like I cannot I cannot like I didn't ever have this issue like growing up at my grandma's house we had like a few mice that would be in the attic but never in my bedroom <laughs> and like we didn't care about the attic um because it was the attic and I rarely ever went up there, but so my room is spotless and still, I still heard mice last night. I had a candy bar that I ate, a Hershey's cookies and cream. That's one of my favorite candy bars. And I had left the wrapper on my bed. Lo and behold, the mice gets a hold of that wrapper and puts it on my floor. Like it's always on my side of the bed. The mice are always on my side of the bed by my nightstand. And I'm like, go the fuck away, <laughs> you know? Like, go away. But they won't. So I really like this concealer so far. I'm gonna whip out my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. It's been a while since I've used it. This is a brand new one. Um, and I'm like, if you're using the Morphe one, you might as well go back to using the Sasha one, you know? So I'm going to use this bad boy today. Okay, I still need to go to the store and get a new one of these, but I'm going to use my Black Radiance Contour Palette um, of what I can use and just contour the cheeks. This contour palette never steers me wrong. It's probably my favorite contouring, pal um, contouring product. 
out of everything that I own. Ooh, I'm breaking out. I got some hormonal acne. I've, I've stopped washing my face in the morning time. Um, not like completely stopped, but there are days where I won't wash my face because I don't. Some days I just feel like I don't need to and I don't want to over apply product. So um, it's been working for me. But around my period time, I have to cleanse morning and night because I'm obviously, you know, a little more hormonal and having a little more um, breakouts than I normally would. But normal, like through my normal like phase, I don't. I cleanse probably like just at night, especially if I'm wearing makeup, especially if I'm wearing makeup. But most of the time, you guys know I don't wear makeup, but I'm trying to get in the group doing my makeup every day except for Fridays. Um, Fridays are a little hard. I've been a little more busy with like clientele and stuff to, to do makeup. I'm loving the way that this makeup is turning out actually. Um, I think it looks really, really, really pretty and like really like fall-esque. I'm loving it. So for blush, I'm going to use my Cover FX Monochrome. I can't stop. Monochromatic Blush Duo in Warm Honey. It looks like this. It's a little more pink than I would necessarily like for this look, but um, and this is a Moda blush brush, but I don't think that it'll matter too much. So for highlighter, I'm gonna whip out my trusty Marc Jacobs highlighter. I haven't used this in forever. This is the um, Omega Glaze all over highlighter and guilty and it's been forever i just realized that i've been using some expensive products like the last video that i used or i did was drugstore and this one i just kind of grabbed some of like my favorite products like the milk hydro grip primer i didn't even tell you i was using that um that's one of my favorite primers at the moment um that's probably about 20 something dollar and then i use the Pat McGrath Foundation. Nice, Oslo. Um, then I used the Pat McGrath Foundation, which was like 70 something dollars. Um, I used this, which was like, I think this was like 40, almost 50 dollars. My brother bought it for me. The Sasha setting powder is 25. I've been using some pretty expensive products in today's video, so I apologize for that, but um, I, hope you guys understand that when I do use products that are a little out of your realm that you can still use whatever you have you know what I mean like just because I use it doesn't mean that I'm trying to sell it to you um most of my like sponsored videos and things like that um obviously are products that I really love like the Moda products I use them all the time and you guys always know and like I said, I'm always using it, so it's not something that's just out of the ordinary, but you don't have to take, like, any influencer's word as, as gold. Like, you use what you can afford, you know? That's, 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 that's just it. Like, that's it. So I am going to go ahead and smoke out the lower lash line. I'm going to use my Moda uh, uh, detailing brush. It's like a pencil brush. I really love using this brush. And I'm first going to go into, uh, what was this, Stam uh, Stamina? Yeah, Stamina or something like that. Dead on the lower lash. I've been loving this pencil brush. I have two of them and I'm always using them for like lower lash line, especially for like my clients and such. It's just so big and it just blends it out really, really nice. Then, oh, oh, I'm sorry, baby. Oh, I'm so sorry, Oz. For my lower lash line, I'm going to use my NYX Slide On Glide On Pencil in Green Papaya. I've had this for years, and the main reason that I'm popping this in is to differentiate this look versus, versus the look that I did this past, like, spring, I think it was, when I did my throwback series. I did, like, an orange glittery kind of look, and... I uh, don't want them to look the same, so I'm adding in the pop of green and the waterline to go along with the pop of green in the inner corner. 
And these are super, super, super creamy. So they really do glide on. So I'm gonna take another pencil brush. This one's from Sigma. This is their precision pencil brush. I'm gonna take a little bit more of that dark chocolate brown. And this is going to go really tight to the lash line, like right underneath of the green. And it's just gonna add like a shadow effect and it's gonna help that green to really pop. So it's not as blown out as I usually do my lower lash line, but it's blown out enough, um, or smoky enough, I should say. And then I'm just going to touch up my green. Because I've certainly lost that. Okay, so the last and final step for this look is some setting spray. This is the ABH Dewy Set Setting Spray. I really like this product. It reminds me a lot of the MAC Fix Plus. So, and I don't really buy the MAC Fix Plus anymore, but I really like this one. Especially since it's accessible. You can get it at like Ulta. Oh, let me cover my edges. Yes! We are, um, half it? Is that, is that the word that I'm looking for? Uh, fear? Uh, cute? <laughs> I'm so fucking lame. <laughs> okay, so for lips, I decided I wanted to go with a deeper, darker, more cool tone lip liner. So I'm going to use the Kiss New York Lip Liner in Chocolate. And I'm gonna line my lips. Of course, I'm gonna do a nude because, like, what else would I? What else would I do? Like, I mean, I kind of want to do a. Um, ooh, is that a brow hair out of place after being set? I should pluck it. Um, I kind of want it to do like a chocolate, but I really like the vibe and the tones of this look, so I think I'm gonna leave it be. So. Like I said, I have a busted lip. Did I even tell you guys how I... I didn't even get to the story of how I got that. So, I was cleaning and um, I was moving around stuff. So, like I said, we had that shoe stand. Um, we also have two dressers, a tall and a short. And the tall is in the corner of one of our bedrooms. Um, against the wall with the three windows, I think it is. So I have the dresser in the corner and then I have the shoe stand. It's like a six or seven, no more than that. It's probably like a 10 shelf shoe stand, it's really tall. And then I have a fan, which we like to sleep with a fan and the ceiling fan in that room is dog shit. So I went out and bought um, another fan, that kind of hurts. So, I went down, oh, and then right next to that is the short dress with the TV on it. So I went down, <laughs> and I went to grab something, and you guys know my mouth is always fucking open, so I, wait, I was going down, I don't remember correctly, was it going down or coming up? I was either going down or coming up, I don't remember which one, but, like, my mouth was <laughs> open, and it hit, it caught the corner of this tooth and then the, the side of the lip like and I was like oh my god like I was like touching and feeling my tooth trying to make sure that I didn't chip this one too and I was so grateful when I didn't but then I was like fuck my fucking lip hurts so then I tasted some blood and all that and I was just like okay this is not great how am I gonna work tomorrow <laughs> so long story short everything ended up being okay so, um, it just, it just like formed a little like bump overnight, but it's still okay. And for me, Oslo is going to get a woman. And for me, it's kind of formed because I've never, ever, ever had like even a cold sore, like nothing like that. And I'm like, what's this bump doing on my lip? 
So anyways, I'm going to use the Nadei Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick and Sunkiss. This is like a really, really, really light nude and I think it'd look really cute with this. This eye look came together. Like when I put on my lashes, by the way, I use my More Lashes and Drama Queen, of course. Um, when I put on my lashes, I just felt like a whole different woman. Like the lashes, just yeah, they made this look. This is like a peachy kind of nude, so it has the same like kind of like peachy kind of tones. So originally I was going to keep it matte, but I want to add gloss. So this is the Milani, what are these? Keep it full nourishing lip plumper, which I don't need any of the plumping, but I really like these color. Um, lip glosses. So this is in Natural Luster. And the one that I really like is called Gold Dust. That's in my purse. I don't feel like getting up to go get it. So Natural Luster it is today. And it has like a tingling effect. But it's not like super overpowering. Alright. So this is the final look. I think we're popping. This palette, for whatever reason, just um, gives me fire makeup looks. Like, I don't know how or why or how, but oh, let me mention that I did use a glitter primer with this uh, glitter eyeshadow, and don't do that. It has a self adhesive to it, and the spots where I place the glitter primer, you can kind of see it if you get really close. So stay back, stay on my face. Um, but you don't need a glitter primer with those. But this palette is so amazing. Like, I really like it. Um, I do wish they steered, steered away from the cardboard packaging. Um, I feel like I like the plastic packaging a little better because I feel like it's more safe for the palette. Um, like, when traveling and things. But I don't even know what look I want to do next. Like, I think tomorrow I might use this this like I've been wanting to do like a plum purple like I really want to do like a deep purple like smoky eye like with this color but like this is really pretty I don't know I might do this and like maybe play with that a little later but I definitely have been wanting to do dark purple smoky eye maybe like a very kind of lip I think that would be so pretty um and then there's just so many other looks that I want to do like this like reddish pink here this plum shade here these two shades are very similar and I think this would look pretty on the lid this would look pretty in the crease um and then the green of course and you got a light champagne there's just so many different looks that you can get out of the palette so the next couple of videos will be using this palette I still have a crap ton of palettes that I still need to do um, looks with like the uh, Carly Bible palette. I have that palette has haven't really touched it honestly. Um, when I got the palette and I actually looked at it, I kind of felt like it was, especially coming from the Jackie Aina palette, it was kind of like, what am I supposed to do with this? You know what I mean? It's like okay, <laughs> okay. Like I can use like maybe three shades or like use all the shimmer shades, but I have to use it with a another palette. But anyways, neither here nor there. Um, I would probably use that palette sometime at the end of this week. I'm on a roll. I'm feeling good. I even filmed, filmed an IGTV video. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I'm hoping that I stay in the same spirits and the same mood and the same everything and push out really good quality videos for you guys. So, don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. Thank you guys, all, as always, for your love and support. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.